um, some common concentration units just so we can, you know, be confident that we can be analytical in the way we describe um, water. Um, some common concentration units are first percentage. And we've seen these be units before when we were talking about um, the mixture that is air and how we defined air by its um, components. Now the same thing is going to happen here with water. Um, percent is, is sometimes it's mass to mass percent. Um, parts of mass of the, um, this, the component per 100 uh, grams, so that's mass mass percent. And sometimes it's mass volume percent. Uh, it just depends on the application. So mass mass or mass volume. And when we talk mass mass, we're talking about grams of some component of your mixture per 100 grams of the total mixture. And um, for the mass volume, it's the grams of whatever component you're talking about, component, per 100 milliliters of the mixture. And the reason why we can go pretty easily from 100 grams to 100 milliliters is these um, solutions that we're talking about are water solutions, aqueous solutions. And um, at normal temperature and pressure, the uh, density of water is one gram per milliliter. And so that what that means is uh, one milliliter of water weighs one gram. One gram of water takes up one milliliter of space. So these two would be very, very similar. Okay. Um, another common unit um, used, now the, the percent unit is used when you have a, a high concentration of whatever you're talking about. Because um, remember, per 100, the milligram per, per liter unit is used when we have smaller uh, quantities of um, solutes within in the solvent. And this, this means a, a milligram of the component per liter of the solution. Okay, and um, this, this measurement is on the order of parts per million, okay? PPM, remember, is parts per million, and it's similar to milligrams per liter of solution when you are talking about an aqueous solution, okay? We'll, we'll look at more details why that's the case in a minute. And, of course, parts per billion we've seen before, and that's parts per billion, and that's on the order, we'll see um, later, on the order of micrograms per liter, okay, FYI. And then the last one that may or may not be new is molarity. And that is the most common uh, concentration unit used in chemistry. And that unit is moles of whatever you're talking about, the solutes per um, liter of solution, okay. So those are some common units. We'll take a look at each one of them in turn um, throughout the course of this, this lecture.